Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Stranger Things Season 4 reminded us all it's still a thing with another cryptic teaser that confirms how wrong it is to call people not related to you, Papa. Good morning, children. Good morning, Papa. That is why I order my pizza from Just John's. I'm gonna break down all the clues, both in this teaser and the corresponding H&L control room clip, what all the numbers mean, and how it all connects with the leftover mysteries from season three. Spoiler warning in case my theories are right, but if not, I don't care because it's more fun to be surprised, right? So season three ended with the kids fighting the Mind Flayer in the Starcourt Mall, while Joyce and Hopper closed the rift to the Upside Down, leading to Hopper's apparent death but a post credit scene in Kamkacha, Russia, with another Demogorgon hinted at some American in another cell. And then in February 2020, a From Russia with Love teaser confirmed Hopper was still alive in a Russian labor camp. And that video's description, by the way, was 001 of 004. This new teaser is 002 of 004, perhaps signaling that this is the second of four promos that they have planned. Hopper's final letter to Eleven called back his fatherly request to leave the door open three inches which we could also look too deeply into as maybe a signal to keep that portal to the upside down open enough for me to come back. It may be possible that Hopper just survived that blast by getting sucked into the upside down, a dimension that does bend space, perhaps between points like Indiana and Siberia, explaining how he got to Russia. Now, in late 2019, David Harbour also tweeted a string of numbers that added up to the same number listed for Murray Bauman in season three, a number that, when you actually called it, played the voice recording of Bauman telling Joyce about some new, possibly Hopper-related development. You have reached the residence of Murray Bauman. And this is Joyce. Joyce, thank you for calling. I've been trying to reach you. I, I have an update. It's about, well, it's, uh, it's probably best if we speak in person. It's not good or bad, but it's something. And of course, a very important loose end from season three was that Eleven seems to have lost her powers. And now this season four teaser appears to be a flashback to Eleven's past experimentation with the other test subjects in the Hawkins lab, which might correspond to the different numbers that we see. This teaser opens on a clock reading three o'clock, which is a bit odd because younger Dr. Brenner greets them with, Good morning, children. So either this clock is wrong or these kids are having a morning check-in at 3 a.m., which I should note is considered in folklore to be the witching hour when supernatural activities occur. Opening on a clock also matches the clock imagery from the very first season four teaser, which showed Hopper's cabin in the upside down with a clock on a tree that struck midnight, chiming, we're not in Hawkins anymore. Next, there's this close-up of a security camera lens showing the reflection of the children in this game room. The two off on the right sitting playing chess, another in the bottom sitting on another table, and then another just standing off to the left there. It's a bit tough to tell, but counting from the kids shown in in this teaser, there are at least six. Like the widest shot shows four younger ones. Two of the three on the left might have been the ones with the toy cars, and the third they're joined by, or the loner off to the right, might have been the one with the magic eight ball, or the one with the blocks, or the plinko. And then in addition to these, two older kids playing chess. Now, this security camera feed likely goes to the control room of the H&L Hawkins National Lab, which another promo clip hinted at this teaser with. <laughs> Yeah, so you'll notice these screens creepily show this same room after some violent attack. You can see blood now on this floor, the lights now flickering, that magic eight ball also has some blood on it. But there's also something we don't see in the broader teaser, a pair of game dice showing the numbers two and six on one of them and five and four on the other. But if these are resting on their sides, facing upward would be three on the first one and six on the second one. And if you read into this kind of thing, that could indicate maybe a season four release date of March 6th or June 3rd. Then Wolfhard said season four was coming next year, but June 3rd, 2022, while a Friday seems way too far off for Netflix to be amping up its promotion like this. By the way, that opera music in that clip is a French title translating to When My Sweetheart Returns to Me from the 1786 French opera Nina. The returning sweetheart could be the Demogorgon. Maybe that was the thing that attacked and killed these kids while Eleven was locked up in her room, having to sense it all happening. Actually, if you listen closely as Brenner walked walks up to the room, you do hear a kind of interdimensional purring of a beast. 
But before continuing, this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Are you looking to rewatch old seasons of Rick and Morty ahead of the new season coming out in June, but your streaming service doesn't have it? Well, ExpressVPN can help you with that kind of thing. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that encrypts your data to keep it from being stolen or tracked and can grant you access to blocked content. Like the US version of Netflix doesn't have Rick and Morty, but the UK Netflix does. So you can open yourself up to a whole new library of content without having to pay for a new streaming service. It's faster than saying, show me what you got. ExpressVPN allows you to reroute your connection to a server in a country of your choice, making geo restrictions a thing of the past. ExpressVPN is also helpful for preventing your online data from being stolen or monitored without your knowledge. I love how super easy ExpressVPN is to use. No confusion, no wasted time, and the whole thing runs super fast. Just fire up the app and connect with just one click. It's a top rated VPN provider rated number one by TechRadar, CNET, and many more. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash new rock stars or by clicking the link in the description below. The theory I've been going with is that maybe during the Cold War, the Americans began testing on kids to breed super soldiers. The Soviets found out about this and decided to rush the testing on their own kind of crazy experimentation like interdimensional travel. So they opened this rift across dimensions and used this to attack America subvertly in the heartland by unleashing their bioweapon, the Demogorgon. And the Americans respond to this attack by doubling down on 11 attack powers, and this being the Cold War, things escalate secretly from there. And yes, it does look like all the kids in the lab here have powers, kind of like 8, Kali from Season 2. Now, 8 does not appear in this trailer, and even the doors in the corridor go 7, 9, 10, 11, no 8 there, but presumably she would be part of this backstory. Now, yes, back in Season 2, we kind of noticed there are some parallels with the X-Men here, and yeah, the fourth season premiere episode title is confirmed to be The Hellfire Club, a nod to the X-Men comics which we know Dustin is a huge fan of. Apparently that will be the name of the boys' new D&D group. Interesting how these two kids race these toy trucks along the bands of the rainbow. I was thinking maybe these are wind-up toys, but notice how it's weird how good these toys are at staying within the colors instead of rolling in a straight line, as if they are being controlled via telekinesis. The two older kids play chess with bird-themed pieces, which is a bit odd since that control room clip showed different chess pieces, just normal rounded ones. The magic eight ball reads signs point to yes, but we don't see the kid who's holding it. Maybe it actually is eight here. While another kid plays with blocks, another kid plays with this Plinko type toy where the disc drops on the number seven, making four, seven, and eight covered, leaving three, five, and six open. Randomly coming up on seven, this does remind us how seven was the number Will actually rolled when the dice fell off the table in the very first scene of the series, which Lucas said didn't count, but then Will fessed up to Mike. It was a seven. Huh? The wall. It was a seven. The Demogorgon. It got me. Of course, foreshadowing the Demogorgon about to get Will and maybe about to get these kids. And then Papa Brenner greets them as Eleven panics from her room. I'm glad to hear it because today I have something very special planned for you. Eleven, are you listening? I think the voice here could be that of a teacher or a doctor to Eleven in the present day as she gets triggered back into the memory of this trauma from the Hawkins lab. And now that she no longer has her powers, she may be suffering some panic attacks that she no longer has a way to defend herself and her loved ones if any of these threats ever return. Comment down below with your thoughts and theories and support this channel by checking out one of our great merch options at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>